Hi, everybody. We are on day three of our two percenter um, week um, and we've been exploring lots of different things already this week. So we've been looking at how to generate confidence, how to generate happiness. And today it's all about acting in spite of fear. OK, so this isn't something that we can use a previous two strategies to do. This is something completely different for you to explore and be curious about. Um, so with this often, um, when I talk to my clients, they are what ifing when it comes to something that is happening in the future. So there's an angst and a worry about something that is potentially coming up or might be coming up or is coming up. So um, we talk about how we can actually make our way and navigate through what essentially is a state of fear, a fear of the unknown. We're not in control. We don't know what is coming because we cannot see into the future. Um, but what we can do is plan. OK, so um, when we're coming to acting in spite of fear um, and people who struggle with this, we look at a three step program. So we look at what is the worst that can happen? What is the best outcome that can happen? And what is the most likely thing that can happen? So there are three key areas that we look at and we will talk through those or write them down in terms of what that will look like, sound like, feel like. Okay. Now, most likely is using our logical, rational brain. Okay. Um, whereas the best case scenario is probably elevating that. And our worst case scenario is reacting upon emotional um, intelligence and also looking at maybe what's happened in the past. So when we do worst case scenario, this is the what if in that we are doing where our amygdala is going off our fight and flight center and it's warning us danger 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 so we come up with the most horrific scenario that we most possibly can so for example if it was to do with i've been asked to go for a job interview um but what if i mess up the questions and um i rip my tights and i fall over as i go into the interview room we make that scenario as horrific as possible and in some ways it kind of makes it a little bit humorous as well because it is go into the ridiculous. In the same instance, we look at then what's the best case scenario. So best case scenario, I'm going to swoop into this job interview full of confidence, full of um, exactly knowing how uh, what I want and um, being able to explain. Everything.